So here we'll take a look at the cordless angle grinder. Here I'll show you the product features, accessories, consumables, and also how to maintain the product so you get the most out of it. So here we'll just take a look around the, the cordless angle grinder. So the ang angle grinder itself has got a 2.7 kilo weight, so lightweight with that. And we've got variable speed here ranging from 4,500 all the way through to 8,500 RPM. So that gives you a fair bit of flexibility with, uh, with materials. As we mentioned, the, uh, the other benefit to this is also it's got vibration control on it. So that comes with a handle that can be located either on the left-hand side or on the right-hand side. And the actual motor itself, the casing is separate to the motor. So this is re reduces vibration as well. Just on the top there, you've got your standard spindle lock and then you've, you've got a quick fix nut on here. So then you can locate your either your cutting disc or your grinding disc. And this is a standard M14 thread for that lock nut. And then your back flange, which just locks into it as well. So it just locates on there, spindle lock. So for the guard, we've got a swivel guard there. So just on, on this side, we've got the lever that you can pull back. That allows you then to pull that lever back and position that guard depending on, on how you're using the machine. So you can uh, direct the swarf in whatever way you want to there and that'll just, just lock in. Uh, this is just to have a look at a couple of the options when we're working with the cordless grinders and a, a couple of accessories. So firstly, if we, we locate the the grinding disc over here and it may be that this is a thick grinding disc or could could even be a a wire wheel and sometimes we with just using the handle we also want to protect our, our hands as well so this this here is just a little protection guard that can be screwed into the into the handle so we'll just lock it onto there this will then lock either on the left or right hand side we can position that position that up and okay and that all that is is just protecting the the user's hands around there that if they are using a particularly a, a wire brush or a, a grinding wheel where they're getting a bit of sporf off there we can fit that when we're using a a cutting disc so sometimes when we're using cutting this in particular and what can happen is that with the swarf it throws it directly out at the user uh, we've also got this protection cover that encloses a blade a lot more and then stops any of that swarf coming coming out so with that we can just bring this hood all the way to the front drop this one on we can then bring that one round therefore when we pop our our cutting disc on we can then position that guard into an area that when we're cutting with it that it's it's actually keeping the most of the swarf inside and then dropping out rather than hitting the user so that's just another protective cover that we can get and the cordless angle grinders are on the standard 18 volt battery platform, so 6.2 or 5.2 amp hour batteries. Just a couple of maintenance tips to help you get the most out of the angle grinder. Firstly, with your grinding and cutting discs, just make sure that they're in good order when, you, when you're using them. Your battery and your terminals on your charger as well as on your tool, just make sure that they're kept reasonably clean. Also, this is where your cooling air is drawn in to the motor. So although the motor is totally encapsulated, so it won't take any, in any swarf or any dust, still relies on that cooling air to cool the fans on that as well. So with that, just to keep them clean, they can be, they can be blown out. So that's just a couple of maintenance tips for the grinder.
So that's it for this guide. Hopefully that allows you to get the most out of your product. If you've got any other questions or need further information, just head to our website.